r slash ask reddit what is far more rare than people realize people who remain friends with you once you leave school i would expand this to actual friends opposed to just convenient people to socialize with you also find out who your real friends are when you leave a job solid brown fur cats apparently it's some kind of recessive gene in them also brown eyes they are common in big cats but quite rare for domestic cats fascinating thread green eyes make up just two percent of the global population but like 40 percent of fictional characters lol large green eyes that seem to glow behind jet black hair tetanus we get vaccines for it but it's actually a bit harder to get than you may believe that's good but the disease itself is so horrible you don't want to give it any chance it's sort of like rabies it's pretty damn rare but it's so awful you don't want to take any chance northern lights the amount of people i've heard say we've come all this way what time do they come on is staggering growing up i'd see light pillars in the sky sometimes until recently i thought that they were the northern lights almost as rare and pretty neat looks like night driving with astigmatism blimps i live in northeast ohio near the goodyear hangar we see them all the time i had to pull up a list that northeast ohio has three out of four operating goodyear blimps named wingfoot one two and three only maybe 12 are operating anywhere in the world with a total of 25 existing at all but we see them all the time at wingfoot lake disc golf course okay so i've got a rookie question let's say there's a need for one in arizona for an event does a crew fly it there from Ohio, or do they deflate it, load it into a truck, and reinflate it near the event? Serial killers. I had a co-worker who interacted with two of them. He grew up in Anchorage, and used to buy donuts from Robert Hansen's bakery fairly routinely, said to this day, that man made the best apple fritters he'd ever eaten, and he drove city bus and swore he ran into his rail keys a couple times downtown. My dad is convinced he bumped shoulders with his rail keys outside a bar one time. Said that was singularly the scariest person he'd ever seen nothing to in his eyes, nothing going on in his face. If only they were always that obvious. I know someone who turned out to have killed two people. I don't think it counts as serial killer BC they were both rather circumstantial occurrences, not like a planned or patterned thing, but it shook my entire tucking world when it came out. I was dating him had been for many years. He was possibly the single most charismatic person I have ever met. The guy everyone felt comfortable confiding in, and who was always, always available with his pickup truck, to help anyone and everyone with whatever they needed. Nobody would have guessed it. Wait what? I feel like I need to know more. Like, do you think he really was a kind person who just got in some bad situations? Or was he a cold-blooded killer who just faked at being normal? bit of peace and tucking quiet, at the mother tucking men, heroin, it's pretty much all fentanyl and xylazine at this point, source, am addictions counselor, stay safe out there, kids, what is xylazine, thank you for the work you do, stranger rape, unfortunately, sexual assault is all too common, but the vast majority of it happens in a social context, date rape, the kind where some maniac is hiding in an alley or a bush and jumps out, to grab a total stranger is actually far less common. People say carry your key sticking through your fingers or the police should increase foot patrols, but those are a distraction from the much larger problem, which will not be solved that way. I think it's because people want to try to blame the unacceptably high incidence of sexual assault on evil weirdos, rather than admitting it's a societal problem with the society that we are a part of. What is most disturbing is the number of rapes committed by family members. People want to believe it is a stranger, because facing the fact it is someone you love, makes it hard to trust anyone. My grandmother and two of her sisters all had a child out of wedlock in the 1940s. The story was always the guy married someone else, when he came back from the war. My uncle never met his father, but in the end, she was saying things that didn't make sense. Near her death, she couldn't keep the story up as her memory was slipping. From what I pieced together, they were all three raped by their uncle who had been sent to live with them. Their dad's younger brother. After all three were pregnant, their dad threw him out and never spoke to him again. I was able to piece out the story as the uncle's son had bits and pieces too. Heartbreaking and sad. Raped by someone they should have been able to trust. Too common. Stranger rapes are rare. Humility and an understanding 
that we are sometimes the victim and sometimes the perpetrator. No one is ever just one or the other. We will always be the villain in someone else's story. I like to think I'm the sexy vampire kind. Clean water. My son and I have been discussing this lately. He is a chemical engineer and works exclusively with water. Many of the studies he has been published on also have to do with clean water and forever chemicals. Water is a huge issue that is becoming bigger every day and normal people are forgetting about it. Flint Michigan is in year 9. Fellow chemical he here. This is absolutely true. I went to college in the American West, where water was a precious commodity. I now work in surface water quality compliance on the east coast of America, and it baffles me how flippant we are in the east with water quality. Helium. On Earth. It's weird because helium is the second most abundant element in the universe. Till helium is smart. Knows what planet to avoid. We have a male tortoise shell cat. Cat people tend to know they're quite rare, but others probably don't. Wow. I've worked in animal shelters for years, and have never seen one. Super rare. A stable, loving, peaceful domestic life. To add to this, being raised in one as well. I have only recently started to realize how lucky I was to be raised mostly with my mom's family. They all genuinely love each other and get along. There's little arguments here and there, but nothing even so bad as typically sitcom stuff. Having a huge support structure just makes any challenges in life a little bit easier to weather. If I could share anything with the world, it would be how much it helps to just genuinely care for others, and have them care for you. Critical thinking skills. Yes. And most people think that having this is to be able to criticize something. For example, well, that sounds stupid, 73% is not that much, so that the idea is just to be resistant to information. What it really is, is to be able to compare ideas objectively, based on best available information and data, which now and always will be incomplete, and make your assessments based on that. Good honest friends who don't have ulterior motives. The ones that genuinely enjoy your company and friendship. Hold on to them. I have spent so much of my life focusing on the not great ones. Once I had the realization of what a good friend is, I was dismayed to find how few I actually had. Now I'm incredibly grateful to have those wonderful people in my life. People in genuinely happy, healthy, well-adjusted relationships. Married 25 years next week. She's the love of my life. And I think she thinks I'm alright too. Ha ha ha, I'm sure she does. Congratulations on finding each other. You're both unicorns. Floor being lover. My goodness was, that a big concern of mine growing up. That and quicks and around every corner. Quicksand was a real concern and I feel lead to being a multi-millionaire. Lots of people faking it out here. I worked at a hair salon that was full of them as clientele. It was so pathetic listening to these bored housewives constantly one-upping each other about what trips they were taking and with who. Then it would inevitably come out that they were living well beyond their means and file for bankruptcy. Absolute silence and being in a place where no man made light exists toured the cave ones where the guide had us all stand still, and turned out all illumination in the cave. That's a darkness and silence you'll never forget. True love. Wait, what did you say? You distinctly said, to blave. And as we all know, to blave means to bluff. Huh. So you were probably playing cards, and he cheated. Empathy. When people want to, and are able to understand the experience of another human being, without projection of own ideas and experiences onto others. Also, empathy doesn't equal sympathy or kindness. You can have a very low sense of empathy yet still be kind and considerate. Trees. We are the only planet that we know that has them. Thus making them rarer than diamonds in the universe. You can say this about any living organism lol. People who have the patience and desire to accommodate the needs of the disabled. Ask me how I know. I had to temporarily use a wheelchair in college. I went to the mall one day. Hollister's entrance had a tucking step for no tucking reason other than to be different, and they had put a table display in front of the wheelchair entrance. Someone saw me by the wheelchair entrance, looking inside, and went and shouted at a manager on my behalf. To this day I feel that the manager deserved it. She didn't build the step, but that display in front of the wheelchair access was totally on her. Man to man compliments. I remember about my 7th grade year. It was probably 1994. Me and my friends started telling each other we love you man. Being good friends with the other dude, and telling them you love them. 
that is more rare than anything. We got obnoxious. We just kept telling each other bro I love you. No bro I love you more. No bro you're the tucking man more than me. It was so silly, but still today I think about it and smile. I still miss and love my boys. I try to compliment men and tell them they are killing it as much as I can. Any compliment is amazing. I usually do some dumb shit like. Damn bro you're killing it. Having loving and supportive parents and a good home life growing up. I think the stereotype is pushed a lot by Hollywood and TV, because writers tend to be people whose creativity was nurtured by their supportive parents and they write what they know. It's why almost every family on TV lives in a picturesque suburbia, maybe with a pool, to loving parents and a comfortable life. Interesting take that kinda correlates to what I think meeting a lot of people in the music scene who have actually had some level of success. There's always supportive parents behind it. My parents would only support things they approved of, and my style was too far out for them. Kids getting kidnapped by random strangers in public. My parents always acted like every adult on the street was a potential abductor, and that child kidnapping was rampant, but I never knew anyone who actually got kidnapped, and the statistics really don't back up their level of anxiety. I'm in my mid-twenties now, and they still act like I'm gonna get attacked by some rando on the street at any moment. Based on personal experience and statistical evidence, I'm much more afraid of violence from those I'm close to than I'm of strangers. Thank you.